Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are trying British Easter treats 2023. This was kind of inspired by a trip we took recently to our friend's daughter's christening. And we stopped in at the Hotel Chocolat shop. We're here at Hotel Chocolat outlet. Let's go have a look. What on earth is this? What is it? The ostrich egg dog. It's 86 pounds. What? It's a massive egg. <laughs> It's an Easter egg, and then do you get all those chocolates? And then all those chocolates, yeah. Oh my word! That is mental. This box is absolutely amazing. I feel like you could make a um, a side table after that once you're done with it. Yeah, it's all these TikTok hacks. <laughs> you don't actually have to do anything. You just put a bit of wood on top and paint it. It Apparently, was it is actually a size of an ostrich egg, yeah. which is much bigger than anyone expects. But not only is it that big, the box around it was just so impressive, yeah. wasn't it? And it was eighty-six pounds. And so that made us think, what are the most expensive, like, supermarkets? Yes, Marks and Spencer's Waitrose and Hotel, Hotel Chocolat. Chocolat. We have such great British Easter items mm. here, if I don't float our own. But yeah. uh, we do have Easter boxes on our website at the moment. If you do want to check those out, we'll leave a link down below. First up, we took a trip to M&S. Let's see what we got. We are in M&S and we're about to check out what Easter eggs they have on offer this year. M&S are really known for their walnut whips. And look what they've got for Easter. Dippy egg mini whips. I know, but we found the eggs. So there's quite a good selection here. We've got these fancy ones up top. Of course, there's a Harry Potter themed one. Look at that, that's amazing. And then 23 karat gold. I think my favourite one would actually be the Colin the Caterpillar. What I'm loving this year from M&S is they've made some of their famous food bits into eggs. So this is an extremely chocolatey giant hot crust bun egg. This is their biscuit eggy. Basically you can get these in a pack of biscuits and they've now made it into a hollow egg this year. And then they've done loads of fun like shapes this year. Rocket, a bunny, a chicken. Oh look, a dinosaur. Walter the puppy, Charlie the bunny. That's really clever. I think they've been pretty creative this year, don't you? I like to eat the chicken. It's I know, fun. fun. <laughs> Honey, cool. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I just, look at the Harry Potter egg. I can't believe that. There's a Hedwig. This is so epic. This is a fried egg chopped corn. And this is like at Christmas, they have the um, wreath. And this one's like a fried egg. We have gone for the 23 carat gold. And there is a pun there because it's a carrot. It's a carrot. <laughs> made with golden blonde chocolate. It's real gold leaf. This is the actual size and it includes four salted caramel chocolate bunny ears. They posted this on Instagram and it kind of went crazy. I think it's because it kind of looks a bit rude. A lot of people were saying it looks oh, like... Right. Phallic. Bits. Phallic? Phallic, What's yeah. that? Means like, you know... Bits. Bits, yeah. <laughs> Alec, have you never heard that before? No. Anyway, would you like to do us the honours and get it out? And also, <laughs> just saying that, that's a bit rude. Um, anyway, the thing is, it's because M&S were the first people to go, you know what, we're not just going to do an egg. Why not do a carrot? Do you know what, though? What? Believe it or not, last year I got Matt an egg from the co-op, co-op own, yeah, and, and it, it was, was an ice cream cone. So M&S, I feel like, might have taken the idea from co-op, actually. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> the golden carrot. It's a different color to what I was expecting. It's much browner. I yeah. thought because it's um. And it looks like the color on there, but I thought, oh, I've just scratched. Yeah, because it's white lady. chocolate and caramelized sugar. I thought it was going to be much lighter than this. Yeah, and there's a little tiddly bit of gold leaf, gold leaf at the that top that won't taste any different. And look at this little chocolate box. For M&S, you kind of think this would have a bit more going you on. You think they'd dress it up a little bit yeah. more, wouldn't you? The Co-op one actually had so much more detail. This from M&S, if I'm being honest, kind of looks a bit rushed. It it's really look... just slap together, paint the top, yeah. and just shove, <laughs> shove gold. some gold leaf on. Because you can see all the excess glue, and it's just what can stick is staying. Yeah. <laughs> I present you <laughs> with this award. No, look. I'm knight you with the, <laughs> with the almighty <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> carrot. <laughs> no, you've got to bite it like Bugs okay. Bunny. What does Bugs Bunny say? Um, I... I, I fought a sharp pretty cat. Bugs Bunny. Know. I fought a sharp pretty cat. Mmm. Much thinner than I thought. Mmm. Well, one side's thicker. Really sweet. That is actually lovely. 
Mm. It tastes like caramel. Mm. It doesn't taste like white chocolate. It tastes like I'm eating solid caramel mm. or butterscotch. Mm-hmm. That's a word. It tastes like butterscotch because that is not blonde chocolate, is it? That no, it's white chocolate with caramelized, caramelized sugar. sugar, and it's a completely different experience because it's like yeah. rich and decadent and butterscotchy. Like that doesn't taste like chocolate, does it? It tastes like butterscotch. It tastes. Like, it, the flavor is really good. Yeah. These are. Salty caramel chocolate bunny ears. I like how they've done white and milk. Don't the white ones look like they've got something in the middle? Well, it's salty caramel. Oh, it's a salty caramel center. Yes. Oh, from the way it's written, I thought it, it was just- And I'm glad it's a center. It was just salty caramel flavor. That's rich. Mm, it's a rich caramel. Mm, that's really great. How much do you think that would be? I think that was nine pounds, wasn't it? Did you just see it? No, I didn't. That was nine pounds. Yeah, I really like the salty chocolate caramels. Rich, I think they're rich. really rich, really nice. I do like this and I do think it's a bit of a fun novelty concept. It is fun and novelty. And I probably wouldn't love to sit there eating it, but it is a really nice flavour. I would just prefer milk or dark chocolate, but And, and it is really the first nice time that. we've had that golden caramelised. Yeah. I like this box, but I kind of want the fun to carry on inside. I know, it's just a bit white and plain, isn't it? And I guess the little touch of, you know, Gold leaf is, you know, a fun Just a bit of fun, because gold leaf doesn't taste of anything. No. M&S is really known for walnut whips. Yeah. And over the years, they've done different flavors. I think this is the first time I've ever seen it. And they've done mini whips in a bag, which I think is the cutest thing ever. And these are dippy egg mini whips. Milk chocolate filled with mallow and an orange flavored sauce. Oh, I didn't know that bit, did you? No, I didn't see the orange. I'm enjoying their colors yeah. this year. They're going for muted. This is almost like an M&S version of a Cadbury's cream egg, isn't it? Because it's yes. chocolate case, it's a white and yellow center. Whoa, it's they're funny. not actually as mini as I thought they'd be. Oh, they're actually quite big. I think I just pictured a cream egg flavor, but this yeah. is actually going to be orange and marshmallow. Be really nice, possibly. Oh, mm. thick. Mm. Oh. Whoa. So different from what I expected mm -hmm. when we first picked them up. I love it. I think mum's really going to like this. I love the how solid that milk chocolate is. It's so thick. Mm. The mallow's nice and the orange is so nice and fresh and natural. I've tasted something like that. It's quite close to the orange mm. to Terry's. I like it, Picasso. At first I had a bit of mourning because I actually really craved in there a cream egg. I wanted that fondant center. Mm. As soon as I knew it wasn't, I was over it because I like orange and like marshmallow. I just don't know why I thought it'd be a, a cream egg, but now I know I really love them. Yeah. Next up, and this is um, cheaper than I remember it being, is the Colin the Caterpillar face at six pounds. Although I still think this I is- I still think it's expensive for what it is. Yeah. Because I realized the size. You're paying the extra because it's Colin and yeah. everyone loves Colin. But really that's it. But if you were getting this from another brand, you'd probably, you'd get an egg and you'd maybe get a couple of little things. I feel like they should have put some mini Colin mini faces, faces yeah. inside. Just to sweeten the deal. They should have. This is amazing. But yeah. this is definitely the first <laughs> shop I've ever seen to do something like that. Yeah. This feels heavier, but like you say, it's not actually that much for six yeah. pounds. And it's not that big. And there's nothing inside. Yeah. Oh, Colin. Oh, God. Ooh. Whoa, it's thick at the back there. That is really quite thick there, isn't it? I oh. personally think Colin is a really lovely white chocolate. Look how thick that is. Yeah, he's some of the best white chocolate mm -hmm. I've ever had. I really do think that. Mm. He's not style over substance, is he? He's actually really good. And that is phenomenal. Nice sweetness, but not too mm. sweet. It's lovely. And in this house, we always get Colin the caterpillar for birthdays. Yep, and we always fight between the heads, well, but I it's don't. usually whose well, birthday it's, it is. It's Holly and Kate, and if it's like my birthday, I let you fight over we, it. Well, we usually share. Yeah. It's great when it's Alex's birthday, because we still get some Colin head. <laughs> Colin's head. If you were to only keep one of those, Al, what are you keeping? I'm going to keep the mini, mini whips. egg whips, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm keeping Colin. I really like them, the oranginess. Yeah. With them well, you're great. not the biggest white chocolate fan. No. I'm keeping Colin face and he's 10 out of 10. If I could just have the salted caramel milk chocolate from the- You'd have that. 32 carat, 23 karat gold, mm -hmm. I'd have that. Is there such a thing as 23? 23, I thought it was 24, 24. karat gold. Yeah, there must be a joke in there somewhere, yeah. I don't know. Next up, we took a little trip to Waitrose. We're looking at the Heston section. This year, we've got a shimmering blonde chocolate apple. We've got this, the chocolate dabbit. What do you see, a duck, a rabbit, or a dabbit? And basically, if you look close, 
If you look here, I automatically saw rabbit first. I saw rabbit first. But look a bit more at that angle. That's the beak. That's the eye of a duck. Yeah, it's a duck. This is quite spenny. There's only two truffles in there. And then you've got these up here. Mm -hmm. Hidden truffles, nutty milk chocolate Easter egg. I like the look of these, though. These extraordinary speckled eggs. These look nice, don't they? Yeah. And then Waitrose looks like they're... I don't know if they've done this before, but they've got, like, more of a... A Caramel ribbon. alternative to the... Um, I don't remember seeing these before. And then, look, they've got some hip, I'll just like a little. hip hop Harry. <laughs> these are really, I love oh, the shape of them. These are really and cute. these are quite good. Carrot cake fudge. And how cute is he? A sunny side Sam. Why have all the shops got their they? Easter egg? Um, you know, like fried eggs now. And take it slow bow. Oh, that is so cute. This is really sweet. Hope you're behaving. Now, if you do not know who Heston is, mm. it is Heston Blumetal, yeah. who is a very famous chef here in England. Yeah, but he must be famous he around must, the world I know, now. he must I'm be. I'm pretty sure he's got restaurants in America and stuff uh, But like basically, that. he is known for creating food that's got a story to it, yeah. a dramatic to it. And also, you know there's a I mean? lot of stuff that's like nostalgic and harks back to your oh, childhood. Yes. And he did like one with fish and chips, but he had like a spray. Oh, yes. And it was like the seaside, seaside or something. Seaside and then brought yeah. you back. I used to love those programs. I yeah, wish they so did those good. these days. Waitrose have a long-standing kind of collaboration with Heston Blumenthal, mm -hmm. where at Christmas, Easter, and probably, probably some other times. Probably other times, but, but we, we don't really notice, notice it as much. But he brings out these really cool kind of strange things. Like at Christmas, there was a Christmas pudding with a whole with orange With a whole in the orange. Center. And he's done that for a few yeah. years now. And the first year he bought that out, that was gold dust. Yeah. Whereas like this year, it was still on the shelf. So... Yeah. Things obviously do have going crazes, and also they were expensive more, I think. Yeah. But Waitrose is more on the same line as M&S. It's more of the luxury shopping place. Supermarket. Up here, we've got Heston Six Milk Chocolate Mini Eggs. I love the illustrations they use, and yep. they kind of, it's really I'm fun. I'm loving really the rabbits, it to life, doesn't and, it? or should I say hairs. Yeah. Um, so, these speckled eggs were six pounds and there are six in there. So if we're talking in terms of going to like a chocolate shop, yeah. a pound for one of those is probably not that far off. But when you're in a supermarket and you hear six pounds for six mini six eggs, mini eggs yeah. it sounds kind of crazy. Yeah. We're talking like quite high high end here, yeah. but obviously it's been massive. Because I guess he's giving, giving a little flavor of Michelin star level food for uh, supermarket. Like a supermarket. I feel like there's different types of Easter things. You buy Easter things to enjoy and then you buy Easter things as a special treat. Yeah. You're not buying this every weekend, are you, to eat, eat with a movie? No. Discover a clutch of delightful blue speckled mini eggs filled with fleur de sel caramel. Mm. Which sounds amazing. They almost look like they've plastic. got a, a plastic case yeah, in them. Yeah, look at that. What a beautiful colour. Yeah, I love Is the Is it being like printed on? Looks like it, doesn't it? Cheers. Yeah. It feels like plastic. That was the Definitely tiniest don't. cheers ever. Cheers. <laughs> wow. That caramel's amazing. Mm. I thought those M&S little caramel. bunnies were decadent. This is even more so. The caramel on that's on another level. Mm. Were the M&S ones salted? Yeah. But you can tell the salt in this is like even a level mm -hmm. up again. Because this is that fleur de sel. Mm. Wow. I think that's worth six pounds. Mm. As an experience and as like a level of flavour, that's amazing. And six pounds sounds like a lot. That probably last you a week because I think you could only handle one a day. I could generally get one of those and just like nibble it and like have a nice cup of tea with it. It's in two halves, so I really feel like you could like yeah. break the first half and enjoy it. You don't need the whole pack. It's but, nice, just a nice little one treat. But it's like you and me, you'd prefer to eat a chocolate bar, whereas I would rather have like a small amount of yeah. like really nice yeah, you would. chocolate. But I can understand that. Yeah. That is fantastic. It's definitely worth the six pounds. Delicious chocolate, delicious salted caramel. And it's classic Heston, isn't it? Because the whole experience is like a spectacle because yeah. you know, you've got the illustration, it's very fun and it's very different because it's fun and playful, but in quite like a more upmarket way. Yeah. It's not like cartoony. And mature. A lot of the mini eggs are very yeah. aimed at kids. And then to see like a blue egg. I know. It actually looks quite realistic. Yeah. And to eat it's it awesome. and it to be so rich and delicious. Yeah. I think well really done, cool. Heston. They well are done. fantastic. Yeah. Now, because of that, I'm very excited for this. <laughs> we have got... 
the golden apple. This was £15, which was the most expensive Easter thing in the shelf, yeah. in um, Waitrose, wasn't yeah. it? This says a shimmering blonde chocolate apple hiding a thick dark chocolate layer with six praline fulletine fulletine chocolates. Already, this isn't as much my favourite because I can hear dark yeah. chocolate in there. Heston's groundbreaking contribution to gastronomy. That's it. That's the word, isn't it? Yeah. Gastronomy. 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 Led to him being granted the right to a coat of arms. Oh, no way. Each carefully selected symbol upon it represents aspects of his culinary career and the philosophy behind it. The motto below, question everything, sums up the curiosity and imagination that drives his creativity. I never wow. knew that about him. I thought it might have something to do with that. The apple inspired Newton to discover gravity after he watched one fall from a tree. It's a symbol too of our sense of taste, a fruit. Then that reminds us to keep an open mind, engage our senses, appreciate the moment and question everything. But who knows what we'll discover about food, about ourselves if we do. Mm, very cool. Open her up. Oh my word, look at the little stalk in the top. That is so cool. Wow. This is an experience. Yeah. I'm gonna try lift this out. Wow. That's so cool, isn't it? Because the thing is, I've seen some of the Heston stuff before. You think, is it like style over substance? So far, the experience of this is so exciting, yeah, isn't it? This is so amazing. Yeah, definitely take a photo. It's a shame it's in this plastic I thing. I know. I feel like Snow White. Yeah. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Look at this. The egg. The golden egg. <laughs> She's beautiful. It's food, yeah. It looks so chrome, doesn't it? It looks like it's absolutely got absolutely incredible. The paint job from a car on. Yeah. Such an amazing paint job. I pass the <laughs> apple to you, Alex. This is a bit like in, you know, Harry Potter, you know, the golden snitch. Yes. That's kind of what I think oh this is word, like, yes. you know, flying around with little wings on. Right, I that's pass incredible. it to you to cut open because no, I don't want to. I'm scared. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. And then I really like that's a button it's a little on the button. button. But is I guess that like that's where they just, fill it yeah. and then they hide the seam with that's the little. Good, you can but that's such a apple. good like that's attention amazing. to detail. Yeah. I think this is going to be nice. It's, it's thick, got dark blonde. Blonde, yeah. And then on the inside, blonde it's, chocolate. It's hiding a layer of dark chocolate. It actually looks really thick. Shall I go first? Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be right up your street. The blonde mm. chocolate's nice. Blonde chocolate's quite sweet, so with the dark, is it actually really good? It's like that time from Australia, we had the caramel milk, but it had the layer of milk chocolate which balanced it. So this is the same. I've got the dark chocolate which is bitter and rich, and it's balanced out really nicely mm -hmm. with the blonde chocolate. That makes it taste rich like caramel. And strong. Yeah. I love it. Are you in heaven? It's so rich and decadent. The richness is on a level of the spectacle of it. Yeah. I just wish I liked dark chocolate because for me, it's too rich. And mm. obviously it's praline chocolates. I kind of wish they were caramel or whatever, but I get that it needs to be dark chocolate. I appreciate it. I respect the price because the time and effort, yeah. and it's a good amount of thick chocolate. Yeah. I really love it and the experience is just for me, I wouldn't pick it because it's too dark. If you're having like an Easter party and you've got yes. that as like the centerpiece, as like a spectacle and you could have it out. Yes, that's people true. People could look, look at it and talk about it. I feel like you it could also get like it for thing. a family, yeah. couldn't you? And then everyone could have a truffle yeah. and everyone. That was really delicious mm, though. Really great. And for our final product, we went to Hotel Chocolat. We're at the shopping centre. We're going to go get ourselves some expensive Easter eggs. So here it is. The Easter egg. That is £86. Can you believe it, Al? Wow. I love the box. <laughs> you better not drop it. That's it. Drum roll. And for the final piece, we went to Hotel Chocolat. And we got a kitchen utensil holder. Yeah, we chickened out and we got the small one because this video was already <laughs> expensive enough as it was. <laughs> but we kind of thought you could get this flavour in the big one. Yeah. So it's like rather than spend so much money, we hate food going to waste, not that it's going to go to waste. We just got the mini version but because also, you know, budget. <laughs> we're like apologising for getting the cheap one. And the cheap one the was cheap, 30 The cheap one is 30, pounds. it's twice as much as that. <laughs> it's heavy, I'm sure you get a good amount in here. How much it's is It's heavy, that? but it's a tin out. 400 grams, this is 802 grams. Mm. Mm. So actually you're getting quite a lot, but yeah. 
30 pounds is pretty spenny. What I do like about this is the tin. It's beautiful. The lady at the store was really lovely. We did yeah. have a lovely lady help us. You a do get lady. a more one-to-one. -one. And what yeah. we've got to remember is this is not a supermarket. This is a chocolatier, isn't yeah. it? A hotel chocolate. But it's the kind of place that's mainstream enough that you get yes. it in a lot of shopping centers, which is why we included it in this video. Yes. Basically, she told us that these tins are fully recyclable, but most people have been using them for things. Yeah. She actually has three and she uses them for coffee, tea and sugar. Although well, you'd I... have to put a lot of sugar in yeah. there. But I feel like this shape is very on trend right now. Yes. People are making stuff this kind of shape, yeah. aren't they? Considering it's 30 pounds, it is displayed in such an amazing way. Shall I read the yes. story of our extra thick eggs? Yes. Oh, it's so heavy. When we first started making our Easter eggs, experts told us to make them as thin as possible. We did the opposite, opting for lavishly thick shells that are the epitome of indulgence. Your best loved cakes, bakes and desserts recreated with all the flair, imagination and skill of our chocolatiers. We've gone for brownie, 50% milk chocolate with pecan praline and salted caramel cheesecake, caramel milk chocolate, mascarpone, yogurt, and a pinch of salt. And this is the patisserie one, but they had lots of different ones and they also do a vegan one now. Don't you love that color? Yeah, I'd like that for my nice walls. Color. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's in oh, so two it's halves. It's actually in two halves. That's cool. Now, do you know what? I actually have a story. They have been doing eggs for a long time because when I was in college, my friend Vicky used to work for Hotel Chocolat. And we used to do like, you know, Secret Santa, you, we'd do like Secret Easter Bunny or and something. And everyone wanted Vicky. Everyone wanted Vicky. <laughs> I got Vicky. Got Vicky. It was like a zebra one. It was white and milk. It was perfect. Yeah. Oh, you get a booklet. You get a little booklet. <gasps> of the... Is that how many truffles we've got? Yeah, apparently. Wow. <gasps> Caramel custard, white chocolate meets wafer textured. Oh, pecan praline. Go away. <laughs> wow. So that's are they it. separate and together or are they? No, I think they're separate. And then there's the plastic in there and then that's it. That's so cool. So that is now our, our teapot. Our tin. Our tea tin. Yeah. You could probably, not that you really do anymore, but you know the coffee pods? Yeah. You could probably have put oh, the coffee pods great. in yeah. there. It'd be a good one. Right, ready? Three, two, one. Boop. Wow. That is chunky. They said thick, but I wasn't <laughs> expecting that that's thick. A, Although it's not as thick all the way around. That's a thick, thick ball. Hello. Get a load of these coconut Maybe. shells. And I think these are the truffles hidden in here. Yes. Much too good for children. Wow. wow. Oh wow. And I love the fact they're actually in there. Okay, so this looks like the milk chocolate one. Can I tell a quick story? Yes. You know at Christmas, when you go see like a carol concert or whatever? Yeah. And I always used to love it in, oh! the, in Little Donkey where we go. Yes. Little donkey, carry merry <laughs> on the long, long road. Something like that. Yeah. Does that anyway. <laughs> it literally does sound like a horse. It really does. So I think that's the brownie. I think this is yeah. salted caramel. Let's see how thick they really are. This makes me realize though, how big the ostrich one must be. Yeah. If that's how big the egg is. Look at that, it's beautiful. It's so smooth, isn't it? Wow. And the lovely Those imprint. Those edges are amazing. Oh, this one's nice and dark Whoa, and smooth. That right. actually feel, looks thicker, I think. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's so chunky. I cannot explain See, to you how chunky that is. I think yours is thicker is. than this one. Look at that in the middle. Yeah, because even at the thinnest there. Didn't this say something about praline? Hmm. I can't taste any. Mm. Sensational. Interesting to what you think to that. I don't think it's too dark. I like it's going to be milk chocolate. Oh. I can taste praline. That's nice. This is the thing. This is quite decadent for me. Yeah. I'd rather have four Colin the Caterpillar faces than these. Mm. And if you think the 86 pound one, that's why in some ways you want to try the small one first. If you're buying someone the 86 pound yeah. one and they don't like the egg. Might not like it. I'm not the biggest fan of this. I don't like the brownie one at all. I prefer this one. If I had this egg, it'd be nice, you know, just have a little bit of that and mainly have this. I much prefer this. That almost sounds like a fruity. Mm. Unless it's the sweetness of yeah. the salted caramel. If I was to get one mm. on my own, I think I'd get the one that had the white chocolate. But then the only thing with that though is it was white and then milk. And I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan of their milk. I just can't believe the thickness on that. Yeah. But do you know what's really good? Cause I was just saying, oh, it's a shame they don't do a whole white one. But what you could do is if you have like a friend 
or like a couple or like siblings, yeah. you could get them one thirty pounds mm. egg and it's like us, me for the white, you for yeah. the milk, and we both share the truffles. And I think because even the small one is so big that you have to have a couple of different flavours in there, otherwise yeah, you would, it would just be get so bored sick. of one yeah. flavour. I don't think you'd scoff at someone sh making you share that. No. I think you could give that as a gift yeah. as a pair and be like, happy Easter. I think the only way you would scoff then is because it's like, who gets the tin? Tin, yeah. yeah. But you can have the tin this year and I'll get the tin next year. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So... Al, what do you think to this then? I really liked it. I really like both, but I prefer this one. Okay. The thickness is amazing, so go Hotel Chocolate because mm. you're like the only one who's really keeping to the thickness. Yeah, because sometimes, though, like with the carrot, I just found it so, so fiddly thin. and it just kind of crumbles in yeah. your mouth and it's like, I want a bit more to it. Yeah, I much preferred this. That was too much for me, but... What I love most about this mm. is the experience, the yeah. tin, the truffles in the middle. But I've really enjoyed this experience. You could probably buy a tin like this for £30. Like well, if, Kim K is selling her bathroom stuff and like, it kind of looks like that. Exactly. The fact that you get chocolate in it as well. Yeah. I mean, win win. Yeah. Five, six, seven. Treat of the week. What are you going to go for, Kate? No, you go first. No, you go first. Okay, I think it's pretty obvious, but I'm going for Mr. Colin. Mr. Colin Head. But shortly afterwards, I think I'm actually going Heston's spe speckled eggs. <laughs> What's with that box? We're, we we're dropping, dropping everything that. today. If it was purely on the flavor alone, I think I would say these speckled eggs. Yes. Because the they are so incredible. rich and decadent. But if we're talking about an overall experience, I've yes. got to say this because I did love the chocolate yep. and the mix of the two flavors, but this as a whole experience as like a centerpiece yep. to have at Easter is just incredible. I think the experience goes Heston, Hotel Chocolat, yeah. Colin's face. Yeah, because <laughs> although this is a lot of money for what's in here, I think it gave more spectacle for the price than this gave. Yes. This gave more actual product for the price. Yes. But this gives more spectacle. Yes. I've absolutely loved doing that. Yeah. Great idea, Alex. Cheers. The thing is, really, I just wanted to eat expensive chocolate. Anyway, we really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this year's British Easter finds. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, we will leave a link to our website down below. We have tons of Easter items on this year. Not just boxes, we also have individual eggs and stuff for you to get. Yeah, which means you can put boxes together for yourself or you mm -hmm. can add those items onto already existing boxes. And we know that Americans love Easter baskets, so if you buy some of these individual items, you at home could create yeah, um, your own little, little Easter, Easter baskets. Basket. Anyway, we really hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.